This is Jeff Williford with the Inside Swoop. As you can see on beautiful location here at UT Tyler with the lake behind us, here with head volleyball coach Suzanne Truitt uh, after the volleyball team set a school record for wins in a season, one of the most successful seasons of all time here, coach. Um, it's springtime now. People can see the beautiful weather behind us. Tell us what spring practice is. How's it going and when? What's it like? Well, we started Monday. Um, the kids were a little soft coming in, of course, after the holidays. So I think yesterday they were pretty sore, but today uh, maybe they'll be a little bit better, a little bit more ready to go. Were, were any of them like, did they come in just like 20 pounds overweight or anything? Um, like you know, I never would talk about <laughs> weight. That's a no-no. Um, just soft is a good term. They wear spandex, so it <laughs> forgives nothing. And so I can see exactly what was going on over the holidays. But the group I have, they'd work so hard and. I worked them hard Monday night and they came back, so I guess we're okay. Uh, I think some of your fans are probably watching this, some of your friends and family and saying, hey, her hair looks good blowing in the wind. <laughs> Tell us about the haircut. What, oh. what made you get the haircut? <laughs> Only you would notice that. Um, I don't know. I just decided it was time, time for a change and thought maybe I was getting too old to let my hair flow down my back. So I, I cut a little bit off. It'll probably be uh, back long again before the fall. Well, it looks good. Um, talk about, before we transition to something else, we'll talk about the volleyball team again. Uh, you were talking before we set up here about the recruiting class. What, talk about uh, some of the people, maybe not the individual names, but maybe about the class that you signed. Um, I'm so thrilled with the incoming class. We had a strong class last year as well, and so we played a few positions by committee, I thought, in the fall and still did well. I don't think that'll happen this fall, so on paper, it looks amazing. Um, we have some good kids coming in. Uh, I have a good kid coming from Louisiana that I'm really excited about. And Houston area, Austin area. Um, I mean, look at the campus. If you, if you visit here, it's so hard not to fall in love with everything about it. The kids love it here. The faculty's great. The coaches are great. So it's just a great place to be, and it, it's just not a hard sell. That's true. Um, we were joking before we started. <laughs> about some of the questions I might ask. This is not planned, but um, one uh, person I know is a fan, uh, Jake Waddingham, who came up with the term inside swoop, uh, wanted me to ask you, what makes Coach Truett tick? What makes you go? What, 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 what gives you life? What, tell me about it. Well, obviously, I would speak about my faith um, if I were speaking just one-on-one, -on -one, but I guess on a day-to-day -day basis, the coaching side of me wins make me tick, uh -huh. absolutely. Um, we want that conference championship. So that's what makes me tick, and just being here and um, just blessed to have a new day. It's hard for coaches to turn it off. Like, you see it on ESPN all the time. They're talking about, like, you know, they're off season and all they're talking about is football or volleyball or golf or whatever. So it's, I'm sure it's pretty hard. You're a competitive person. Are you competitive in everything you do? Do you think I'm competitive? I think so. Yeah, you so. watched me. Do she you was think like, we're she was like carrying the chair over here, <laughs> seeing if she could run. No, I'm just kidding. I actually got one of those really cute boys to help me. That's every right. Day. The guys over yeah. there playing. Yeah. Um, What's one thing, maybe the fans, people watching, this could be the last question, I don't know. Uh, what's one, <laughs> what's the one, one thing that the fans uh, that don't know about you? What's one thing? The fans don't know that I'm going to be a grandmother in June. And my daughter-in-law actually played for me. She was an All-American for me. Wow. So I not only did I have her for four years, now I have her forever. And um, she's married to my son. And we have a baby girl on the way. And she had her hands up in the sonogram, so I'm assuming she's going to be ready to play when she's she gets here. She's going to be a blocker. Is that, oh, is that what that setter. Means? Setter, like maybe okay. six foot setter. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she'll she'll be trained. Are you already? Have you already sent like a, a fake, you know, like recruiting letter to the? Oh, sure. She already has a volleyball, and That's she has good. a T-shirt that says UT Tyler Volleyball. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, cool. Well, we appreciate the time. Um, I know that the fans are really excited about the upcoming year. You've only been here uh, a little more than a year, so I'm I'm sure you know everyone's ready to see what what the second installment has in store. Well, thanks. I. I I sure hope that we're competitive. That's absolutely the plan, and we just have a fun. We're going to have a fun spring, and we're going to have a great fall. And I'm sure you'll be on the sidelines, and I can't wait. We'll do it. Uh, if you want to catch Coach Truitt, uh, she's at every sport. She goes to golf. <laughs> she goes to tennis. She goes everywhere. So if you want to say hi, tell her congratulations for being a grandma. I'll do that. But this has been the Inside Swoop. Thanks a lot. Thank you.